Peace and love, fellow builders, and welcome back to me failing at pouring some cement for the control center on the spaceport expansion. We are 73 overall percent on the control center, and I'm just finishing up pouring the walls that we left off with last episode. We are at 70% now on these. So almost there. Just having a little bit of troubles getting the right articulation in the arm. In the pump itself. It's giving me a little bit of difficulty, but for the most part, it's working. Oh, already out of cement. Beautiful. I love when I run out of cement within like the first five minutes of uh... Or it was within the first minute of recording, that's awesome. <laughs> New record! Hope everyone is doing well today! It is a Monday, so hopefully your Monday is going fantastic. What a good way to start off your Monday with watching some Construction Simulator, you know? Start the week off with some nice peaceful uh, cement pouring. Unless you're, like, you're a cement worker, then you're like, I don't want to watch this. I do this every day. <laughs> but if you're not a cement worker, you might think this is uh, pretty fun. Like me, this is pretty fun. When I get the arm in the right spot. But until I get it in the right spot, it's annoying as fuck. <laughs> I'm just being honest. It's crazy to me how fast it's running out of cement. I wonder if I got a different cement truck. If it would hold more. But then that involves going to the dealership and getting a new truck, and I just don't want to do that. <laughs> it's a lot of work, man. Then I gotta move trucks around. No one wants to watch me move trucks around. That's just boring. Come on, 100%. Hundo, hundo, hundo. Yes, come on. You can do it. Come on, you son of a bitch. Yes. I did it. Prefabricated wall element. Oh, the elevator. Gotta play some more elevator. And then we gotta do the ceiling. Ooh. So yeah, this will definitely be the last episode of the Control Center. How fun is that? Let me know in the comments if you've enjoyed the, the Control Center build. And also let me know any other feedback if you have it, you know? What would you change? about the recording and stuff. And hey, if you did enjoy yourself, please do tickle that like button, share to a friend, and subscribe for many more videos. Because there is going to be many more videos. We're still not done the spaceport. We still got to do the rocket. And a few other side jobs. Quite a few side jobs, actually. I'm actually excited to see what side jobs are going to be unlocked after finishing this job because you know that there will be side jobs that will be unlocked so here we go drop it like it's hot yep. drop it like it's hot <laughs> last episode we delivered the last of the material that we will need to finish off the ceiling and roof of the control center so it's already here we don't need to go grab it or anything 
what we will probably have to do is place a whole whack ton of prefabricated ceiling elements and then pour till our hearts explode with boredom of watching someone pour concrete. I know I probably will fall asleep during the, the, the final concrete pouring. It's going to be a lot of concrete, man. It's going to be the whole ceiling. That's a lot, dude. That's too much, man. I can't handle it. Nah, it's going to be fine. We'll be fine, guys. Here we go. Final elevator piece. Boom. Oh, we got to remove something from the job site. Oh, all those are going to go there. Yep, yeah, see? I can have told you so. There we go. I'm going to start over here. Start with these ones. There we go. There we go. Up, up, and away we go. Man, I might have to call the doctor or I can book an appointment to go see the dang thing, but <sighs> my right hip hip flexor sciatic, you know, has been bugging the fudge out of me for like the last like week. To the point that I couldn't even fully do my workouts come Thursday like come like second half of the week all I was doing basically was just stretching and lifting when I could but yeah I don't know what I did but I must have been doing something in the wrong form and have tweaked that spot I know for sure I need to work on my ankle mobility to do squats properly, which I figured out today. You know, you don't you don't realize that you're doing something wrong until you start getting pain in a certain spot and then you're like, "Oh no, am I doing the form wrong?" And then you start doing it a different way so that pain stops. And then you're like, "Oh, no, this is the proper way to do it." And that's my realization was uh, doing squats. This this pain in, in my hip flexor and like lower back has, has made me look up some videos. And, and uh, one video made me realize that, oh, maybe it's maybe it's this because I I got a tummy, right? I got a I got a round belly. And at the, in this video, it was basically saying if you have a gut, you know, you're, you're kind of like your gut's kind of pushing out pulling you forward but then with that you're trying to correct yourself to stand straight and not realizing you're arching your lower back so slightly and over time obviously it's going to strain that part of your back being on that angle for so long and I'm thinking maybe that's it because I've been trying to like in the video what the guy said to do was like kind of try to roll your hips a certain way so that I, I can't really describe how he how he said it but what he said was essentially I think is what I've been doing wrong with my workouts you know I don't really have a I don't go to the gym I don't have a gym membership I just work out in my basement Got a few dumbbells, got a bench, got a got an easy curve barbell, and yeah, that's, that's about it, you know. So I just do kind of light workouts and whatnot, but yeah, if you don't do the proper form when you're working out, guys, you'll you'll strain something. So be sure to double check on your form before you tweak your back boys because it's good to it's good to exercise 
you know? Even just doing body, like, body weight things, like body weight push-ups, squats, sit-ups, that kind of stuff. That alone will benefit you greatly, you know? Doing a hundred of those a day, just do, do 20 of each in, like, groups throughout the day, and you should hit a hundred sit-ups and push-ups in one day, you know? Or even, even start with trying to hit 25 push-ups, sit-ups, squats in a day. You know, 25 of each in one day. And then once you hit that, add five more. And then five more. And then five more. And then five more. And then soon, you'll be doing 100 push-ups, sit-ups, and squats a day. And then soon you'll be doing it in just your morning routine. And then soon you'll just realize, wow, I am feeling fantastic. Because like when I work out, I feel so good the next day. And even like after I do a workout, I feel fantastic. So exercise, man. It's good for the body and mind. It's facts. It's scientifically been proven many, many times. Just sitting at a desk all day is mentally straining. You don't think it is, but it's mentally straining. So just even going for a walk outside in the beautiful sunshine or just any form of exercise will help you greatly physically and mentally. Trust me. Even if you want to just do stretches in the morning, like five minutes of stretches in the morning when you first wake up, like go pee, obviously. But then when you come back from going pee, just do some stretches. Five minutes of stretches in the morning. Even that will help you greatly. Guarantee it, friends. Guarantee it. So yeah, I think I'm going to have to just start stretching every day to keep my uh, lower back all loose. And just to keep the rest of me all loose, honestly. Getting old. <laughs> okay, probably going to have to pour. Yep. Concrete the ceiling. So we still do have um, more pallets of stuff over there, so hot in my room. It's always fucking hot in my room. My old room was always cold. This room's always hot. Seems like there's never any happy meeting with these fucking houses nowadays, man. Seriously. It's getting all hot and steamy, man. I'm impressed with how far this thing can reach, you know? Like, this thing can really reach. 
and it's got a super reach. Well, that's 81% of this stupid thing, so let's get to the other side, I guess. <sighs> well, there's th still three skids over there, so I don't know what the fuck those are for, but it makes me nervous. Just even thinking about it. I'm gonna jump out actually and take a coffee break. What the fuck am I doing? Come on. Jump into this little guy. Apparently I'm not. Wasn't even in the right mode. I have no idea what mode I'm even in. <laughs> oh my, I don't even think I can reach that. Oh! It's way over there. At least it's ready for when the uh, other side opens. <laughs> because this is so goddamn difficult to fucking use these pumps, man. Taking me way longer than I anticipated. And also, it's a really big job. Like, come on. <laughs>
Oh my god, come on, you stupid. Just need 10 more percent, and then we can switch to the other fucking side there. This is taking 30 minutes. Oh my god. Be aware, everyone. I hope some of you are better at this game than I am because, oh my god, get ready. If you're, if you're, if you're not, if you're not good at this game, don't even, don't even start the spaceport. Practice. Oh, look at that, eh? It's like I knew what was gonna happen. It's kind of obvious. <laughs> Stop fucking around. Like it moves when I'm not even touching it. I'm like, why the fuck are you moving? All right, now we'll, we can use this one where it is. <laughs> Last time I tried to use it, it didn't work out too well. <laughs> it wasn't in the right spot yet.
Okay, this is like... What the fuck? <laughs> Telling me to remove this truck from the marked area, even though that it is. No, fucking glitched. Yeah. Seriously. Seriously. Wow. So again, I'll say this. There's sometimes this game just makes me want to rip my fucking hair out. It's great. Holy. <clears throat> that was brutal. Like, solely the reason I am not looking forward to doing the last contract is... The uh, big old rocket ship, if you will. Is that one? Oh no, it's already placed. I thought it wasn't placed yet, but it was. Yeah, I'm just not looking forward to the space shuttle portion. Just because of the height. And I'm like, how the hell am I supposed to do any of this when I'm struggling like to get this stuff done? Makes me really worried. <laughs> it does. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Makes me worried. Makes me think I won't be able to do it. Like, look, this this whole episode. I honestly thought this episode was gonna be like 30 minutes at the most, but because I was struggling so much with that stupid pump, like original editing, like original length of video, it's it's now 51 minutes. So, yeah. How dumb is that? <laughs> Simply because I couldn't get the stupid pump thing to go where I friggin' wanted it to. So annoying. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay, spaz now. Did not want to do it. I was like, nope, you can't make me. <laughs> <laughs> but I did. I win. I win. Oh, see, these ones aren't in there. Kind of stand there for a moment. Bloody ass is falling asleep. Come on. Come on. Like, how are you supposed to get this in here? Seriously. 
Like, this contract now, like, this last few bits, not been enjoying myself. Not even gonna lie. Probably because I'm fucking tired and... <sighs> Just... Lately, not good mentally, is all I can say. Just lately, I'm just not good mentally, like, ready to just, I don't even know. I don't even know. All right, last one, guys. Let's go speak to the finance expert. That means we're all done, boys and girls. You know, ever since George started babbling about outer space back in university, I've been fascinated by it as well. I've wanted to work with him in space exploration since that time. But as someone who usually takes care of the finances, it was never an option for me. That's why I accepted this project when it was offered. I even had a fight with my parents about it, and therefore with the entire Rodriguez company. Since the incident with our former construction company, I've been wondering if I'd made a mistake. And especially in the last few days, I've been completely convinced that I had. But when I see how well you're progressing, I'm starting to believe that we can finish the project. I'm glad I can rely on you. Thank you for that. I pray we can make it to space. I'll show you out of this world loving lady. <laughs> and there's our finished control center, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, nice spiral staircase in the back with a nice seating area on the top so you can check out the beautiful scenery. Lovely. Lovely. Let's check it out. Let's go to the back. I want to go to the back here. That's pretty cool. I especially really like the spiral staircase. I wish we put the spiral staircase in though. That'd be cool. Spiraling staircase. Spiraling staircase. Oh, what? Ah! Wow. Well, there you go, guys. 
We have completed the control center after what six six episodes? This was six episodes. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Control center. Bah, 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 bah. Guys, if you haven't already, please do share, like, subscribe, comment. You know, go buy my merchandise. <laughs> Link for the 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 stores in the description below. And until next time, don't forget to vote for your... Oh, right. Let's check that out. Jobs. Uh, well, uh, yep. All done. All done. That means we have the finale. Oh, there's two. Launchpad part one and launchpad part two. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> All right. Well, we have the launch pad part one. That's one of the contracts we have. And then we have warehouse, parking lot, road, container cafe, another road, solar plant, and an access road. Oh. Well, there you have it, guys. Until next time, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe. And keep spreading that peace and love. Bye-bye.